Hey everybody, I wanted to kick off a, a new series that I've been uh, thinking about for quite some time, and it's basically just kind of a, a tour of some of the more obscure and vintage reels that I use, uh, stuff you don't see very often, and some of it's actually pretty hard to find. Um, and I wanted to start off the series reviewing and just kind of introducing folks to a, a real manufacturer, um, that I, I'm very fond of, uh, Terry Hayden of Hayden's Fly Reels. And he's out of Australia. Um, and he used to make uh, handmade saltwater fly reels and some freshwater as well, but he's most known for his saltwater fly reels. Uh, he was actually thought very highly of, and TFO decided to pick up one of his designs and manufacture some reels in Korea uh, using his design. So, Let's, let's start it off. Uh, the gold ones here are all, I think, his original series. Um, and they're all handmade. There's four different sizes I've got, and there's actually a fifth that I don't have. The smallest being the salmon. It's about a six weight. Then the next is the barramundi, and it's uh, an eight weight. And this version is anti-reverse. Whereas the, or the salmon is a direct drive. And one of the neat things about the anti-reverse is it's got a lever drag. You don't see that very often um, on fly reels. There's a, a few that I can think of. Uh, Siegler right now makes one of the, the best ones. Um, I'm trying to think of who some of the other ones are. That's the only other one I can think of. I think STH out of Argentina those reels there were some lever drags that he designed as well uh, let's get back to these the next size up actually that's the largest that's the yellow fin that i have and this one is the sailfish this is uh another anti-reverse lever drive lever drag and this is a direct drive um, all of his reels had a unique serial number um, usually low numbers. I think the 150 is the highest number I've got. And this is number 16. This is one of the first ones he made in that size. Uh, I just find them gorgeous reels. Um, I'll take one apart. They've got a unique drag. It's actually applied from two sides instead of one. Um, and it's a combination of Teflon and cork. So I, I will... Uh, take this off and show you the insides it's not a very easy thing to take apart on the side of the stream or on the beach uh, maybe if you're at a picnic table that's one thing but most of the time you're not so i would recommend dealing with all this at home for the most part um, being that it's australian uh, the allen wrench size is going to be metric it's not uh, english or what we'd have in the U.S. Um, you can see here, here's the, uh, I guess, kind of the outside of the spindle. It's cork, and on the inside of the spool, it is Teflon. And the other side is the same way. There's a plate that's cork and the spool itself is Teflon. And the reels, the two TFA, TFOs, which is this one and this one, um, you can see it's got his logo as well as TFO. Those are reversible, whereas these gold reels, the original series, are uh, one direction only. Um, I think later on he designed it to be reversed, but the ones I have are all single direction. And three of them are left hand because that's what I prefer, but I made a mistake on one and didn't realize it was right hand until after I received it. It's the, the salmon reel. 
So if you're in the market for one, first of all, they're hard to come by. Just a few I see a year for sale on eBay. And I don't know about private sales. Uh, these were made probably right around 2000 to 2005, I believe. And uh, they, they just don't come up for sale much anymore. Okay, that's ready to go. This makes a nice noise retrieving, but it's silent on the out. So let's talk a little bit about the TFO series. Um, here's another handmade reel of his, the Striker, and this seems to be what the same design as the TFO. It's kind of a mid-arbor reel. Um, it's about as large arbor as you'll see me use. I just typically prefer the aesthetics of the, I guess, the traditional fly reels than I do of the large and mid-arbors. But getting back to these, the Striker and these TFO reels are the exact same design in terms of the drag and essentially the, uh, the reel itself. There are some minor differences like the spool removal on the striker uses a screwdriver, whereas on the TFOs you use a coin. And another difference is the TFOs, they're reverse threaded. So while it looks like I'm tightening it, I'm not. Striker is traditionally threaded. But these reels are actually a more traditional drawbar drag system that you're used to seeing with Islander, Finnor, uh, I think Tibor. And it's got a kind of a post with a spring attached to it that is that goes through the spindle or is the spindle in some cases, depending on the design of the reel and it is threaded on the rear side so when you tighten the drag knob it pulls this bar against the spool which pulls it against the drag plate and as you can see it uses the similar ratcheting type drag plate as the original hayden series used but these are reversible depending on this right now is set up for right hand retrieve, and you could reverse these dogs the other way for left hand. I mean, this is set up for left hand retrieve. You could reverse the dogs like this one down here and this one up here, and it would be right hand retrieve. Um, very nice design. Uh, very simple, which is good. That means fewer parts to fail in the field, easy to take apart, maintain, and clean. So that's one of the reasons that TFO wanted to work with him, is his designs made sense. So, I will, I'll take apart the striker so you can see it. The TFO reels, there were four sizes, uh, a narrow spool one, a wide spool one, a two, and a three. The narrow spool one, I think, is about an eight weight type reel uh the single one is more of like a a nine it, it's a little bigger that's right kevin reverse threaded that's why it's not going on i'm having trouble this way there we go um this one's the two and i've got 12 sinking 12 weight on it um, so it's a good tarpon size reel and back when I got these about five or six years ago they were on closeout and that's how I actually learned about um, Hayden's reels because they're not well known here I mean no very few people have heard of them everybody's heard of TFO 
but I don't think these reels ever became popular. Um, uh, the color is just not the prettiest. I think they could have been gold or something flashier and would have done far better because they are a good reel. They're kind of heavy though. But that too was a kind of a tarpon sized reel and this is more of a, a blue water billfish type reel. Um, same exact design, but uh, nice and big, holds lots of Lots of line, lots of backing. This has got a, a 14 intermediate on it and probably 400 yards of backing, something along those lines. Um, let me take apart the striker just so you can see the insides and see how it compares to what we just looked at. It's essentially identical. But Hayden first started making reels in the mid 90s and uh, made them through, I think, about 2015. And that's when he kind of retired from reel making. And uh, he still um, services them. So if you have one that has a problem, um, that is his handmade ones, not the TFO ones, he will take them back and, and work on them. And so he's a... Uh, I've communicated with him a little bit. He's a great guy and actually sent a couple of the reels I've got back just to uh, bring them up to speed so they'll last a long time. And he did a good job and still has a few hats for sale like this one over here. So I made sure to get one of them because that's something you're not going to see very often. And it was kind of cool to get one. So as you can see, exact same... Um, design as the TFOs. I don't know if the TFO came first or if this came first. Um, I would assume this came first, but I could be wrong. And uh, I don't know if many of these strikers were made. This is serial number 14. Um, most of the gold ones were at least in the low hundreds. And one tip, if you're not aware, if you've got a cork drag or any drag reel, you always want to reduce the drag setting to its lowest setting while you're storing it so you're not compressing the materials, whether it be cork or the plastics or some other material. I guess I've seen some kind of celluloid on some of the old like flugers and things like that. Um, to Teflon, Delrin, things of that nature. So just remember to keep them, keep them at their lowest setting. And his handmade reels, reels all came with a, a wooden box and they probably all came with these kind of half cases to put on them when like you're in the boat. Um, not the best for like lugging around in a, a bag because especially the one some of them have holes for the handles like this one and some do not so the reels would come out of them occasionally but they're they're fine for boat use but um they came when came with a wooden box some of them came with uh, a tool for uh dealing with i guess maintenance and taking it apart. This one came with the, I think it came with the Barramundi. But yeah, it's got different wrench settings or sizes for, yeah, it, it actually fits both my, the Barramundi and the, the Sailfish reel. But that's, that's just a brief introduction to 
Terry Hayden's fly reels, uh, probably my, my favorite fly reel manufacturer. I just love the reels. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous reels. Uh, love the color of the anodizing. That's uh, just the way he put it together. They're just very attractive and they work very well. And, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I, what I've got in terms of the Hayden reels. Uh, I don't use them enough. I don't fish the salt as often as I'd like to. It's, it's a three hour drive for me, uh, but I do fish it multiple times a year. And hopefully this year will be the year I can get a, uh, false albacore on one of these Hayden reels. Almost did two years ago, but had, so I will try again this year and maybe I'll get the, uh, the big TFOs out with the Amber Jacks and, uh, give them a try out. That'd be a lot of fun. Anyways, thanks for watching and hope you learned a little bit and I hope I didn't create too much competition for Hayden reels when they pop up on the internet. Thanks again. Bye.